Hi, my name is Jimmy Lick from Drew Riders TV Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to remove oily faces in Photoshop. First thing that we're going to do is go up to a file, go down to open and open up our image. I just have a default image here that I will use. Next thing we're going to do is control J. This is just going to duplicate our original file. Now we don't mess anything up. And take off the background. So the first thing I want to fix in here is just the reflection that I'm getting off the nose. The best way to do that if you're in CS5 is the spot healing brush. So we'll go up to the spot healing brush, tag over, make sure we're on that. And you want to get the pixels right about the width of the actual reflection. So I'm just going to stroke down and follow it all the way to the bottom there. We'll see how well that does. Okay, that works pretty well. And what we can do is just bring down the opacity a little bit. We'll keep the background on. Bring down the opacity a little bit and get some of the extra reflection back in there. Just kind of mix it, match it until the best that you can get it. Next thing we're going to do is go back to the background and duplicate that one more time. Now we're going to blur out the entire face completely. So we'll go up to filter, go down to blur, Gaussian blur, and yeah, about, about 30 pixels. Click OK. And now we're just going to take a mask. And by using this mask, we are actually going to take out the eyes and the lips. And those are the key features that you want to keep in, uh, in focus. Once you do that, the entire skin actually looks nice and clear. So take a brush, make sure that your hard, hardness is all the way down to zero. And we're just going to paint back in the eyes. And if you want to do a little bit of the nose, just make your brush a little bit bigger so it fades. Oh. There you go. And what that does is it just blurs out the whole face so you can't really see any of the tiny reflections that are actually in her skin. And again, you can be as detailed as you want with this, but for me, this looks pretty good. So I'm just going to take out a little bit more of her neck because that's just a little bit too blurry. Make it a little bigger. Actually. There we go. Once you're done, you can go up to File, Save As, and rename your document. And that's pretty much it. I'm Jimmy Lick from Drawriders TV Productions. Thank you for watching.